Hey everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. My name is Buddy Blackford and today we're going to learn how to warp text using the warp text option. It's uh, uh, pretty cool. The, it's a good way to draw attention to uh, a heading or some kind of word in a Photoshop document. And um, you don't, you aren't limited to just straight horizontal or straight vertical text. So this is pretty awesome. Um, the good thing about using a warp text is that when you actually warp it, it doesn't rasterize it, so you'll be able to come back and adjust it anytime you want, unless you go ahead and uh, rasterize it later on. So just uh, keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and start warping the text. Make sure you have your text tool selected and select your text and I'm just gonna click on this button up here with the T with the uh, uh, it looks like it's on top of a hill and this is our warp text option and it usually starts out with none I'll bring this over here so we can see what's going on now we've got our different options going on here twist our uh, rise and uh, bulge so we've got all this kind of cool stuff going on here. So I like the bulge. We've got the option to do a vertical bulge or a horizontal bulge. Um, and then we've got uh, we got some some sliders here to be able to adjust the percentage values uh, of the uh, different properties. So I don't want it to warp so or bend so much, so I'll just move it a little bit, or I can change the way that it's warping or bulging the other way. So that's pretty cool. You have a nice fine tune adjustment. We've got horizontal distortion, which is going to distort it towards one side, which can go, give it like a cool squishing effect at the end. Same thing with vertical distortion. So that's all pretty cool. We can see you can see that you can create a bunch of different cool things with that. Let's go to something up here. Here we've got um, a bend. You can see that you can move it both ways, or you can bend it going this way or this way. So it's pretty cool. I like uh, using the warp text every once in a while, but um, every if you use it too often or you make it too huge or something like that it kind of looks starts to look um like vintage old like microsoft publisher style because remember when microsoft publisher came out first came out you can make all this cool stuff and no one's ever no one has ever seen it before so it was really cool and it was used all the time so just keep that in mind you don't want to get too uh um like caddy i guess or trying to think of the word I can't I can't think of it but when you use something all the time and it gets like overdone so just pay, pay attention to that but uh, that's all I wanted to show you it's pretty easy and it was a it's worth showing so that you know how to do this and it's you can do it easily now so thanks a lot for watching this tutorial be sure to check out buckysroom.org for more tutorials like this about uh, Photoshop CS6 or other programming or Adobe programs so thanks a lot for watching. Be sure to check out the website and have a good day.